Hello and welcome to this session on Selenium Builder. So today we are going to see how we can create a data driven test using Selenium Builder. We are going to create a very simple test and parameterize our test and we will be getting the data from an external CSV file. Let us begin and see what our step one is. So we have to open our Firefox and launch our Selenium Builder and then as step Two, we will be uh, recording a simple test case. So let me open my Firefox and I'll go to Tools, Web Developer, Launch Selenium Builder. So uh, let us use our WordPress login website for this test. and also let me split my screen so that you can see what exactly is happening so I'm giving this website and I will record and I will give some user name some password and hit the login button and I want to capture this verify this error message so I will record a verification point and record this and stop the recording Okay, so now this is uh, this test is recorded. I can replay it to test. This is working fine. And uh, to replay, either we can run it on a command line as we saw in our last session, or we can also run it through a uh, Selenium server. So for running it on Selenium server, I will have to make the Selenium server up. So let me go to my selenium jar so in my case my selenium server jar are located here selenium server standalone jar so i have to run these files what i'm going to do is i will go to my terminal or command prompt in case of windows and i'll go to that location of my selenium server jar and i will say selenium server jar and I'll run this. So this will uh, make Selenium server up. In case you have any issues in doing this, you can go to my Selenium Builder session. And in the very first session, I have uh, told how exactly we can run our recorded Selenium Builder test case on a Selenium server jar. So now my Selenium server is up. What I can do is I can run this test case. Let me run this on a Selenium server. So it will bring up a Firefox and it will execute the test case. Okay, so this is working fine. Now let us see how can we parameterize it. So uh, let me write down the steps here. So we have to create a CSV file and add data to it okay so uh, let us do this thing i have this folder selenium builder data driven test and i have created a csv file let us open this csv file and here i'm going to give some values so uh, we have let me also close this window so we have entered a username a password and then we are verifying a error message so all these three things username password and message we are going to parameterize and we are going to take it from this csv file so let me give this username heading password and message and let me give user name as user1 password as 123 and uh, messages test okay now i can also give multiple values here i will say user2 uh, some password and test is the message user3 some password and some message okay and i will just save this file
okay so I have added uh, some data there is some issue let me just fix it username password message user1 user2 uh, user3 uh, let us add some password and some message okay so we have uh, created a, a csc file and added some data to it okay now we have to tell our selenium builder to take data from the csc file so what we are going to do is we are going to this data section and we will select csv and here we will give the path of our csv file so this is the path and the name of our csv file okay so we have to do this thing i'll write down the steps here step 4 will be in selenium builder window you have to go to data section and csv and add location of csv file and then step 5 will be we have to parameterize values in test so what exactly i mean by this is uh, now we have to tell selenium builder that instead of taking the text as test 1 here and the text as 1 2 3 4 here we have to get it from a csv file or a data source okay so what we are going to do is you can click here and instead of test 1 we can say dollar and curly braces inside curly braces i will give the name of the parameter as i have given in my csv file so this is username this is going to be dollar curly braces and password and here this is going to be dollar and inside curly braces message so you can see we are now we have now parameterized a username our password and the message click ok now we are done you can see this is username taking from the csv file password and message okay and now we can run and verify it also uh, to see exactly what the message we have got i'm going to add a pause so i will do this i will add new step below and i'll go to miscellaneous and i'll select pause okay and okay now the wait time let us put some three seconds so this is milliseconds so 3000 means three seconds so now we can run this so again i will run this run on selenium server run and let us see see you can see it has taken three rows it is running the very first row now from our csv file it should use user one and yes now it is uh, reading the second row from our csv file and running the test case for second row which is for user 2 and now it is running for the third row and it is waiting for three seconds and done now you can see all our three test cases failed why because it was trying to search the message test as we have given in our file but it did not find it so uh, let us fix that let us go back to our csv file and instead of this dummy message let me put some real message that we will get so uh, I think it was not captured let me run it again and I will capture the error message this time yes 
okay so this is the error message that we will get on the very first login and let me add it for user 3 as well and for user 2 I am keeping it as it is so that it will fail so in our case now our first test case should pass second should fail and the third one should also pass so let me just save and close this okay even the pause let me make it to just one second and I will again run on selenium server so it is running the very first test case now and yes this time it passed the second one should fail and yes it failed and the third one should again pass and yes we can see the results now the first one passed second one has failed because it did not find the text test and the third one also passed so this is how we can do a parameterized testing so step number six will be run and validate and you can run on selenium server as i have done in this session or you can also use command line as we have learned in our last session so this is how we can do a data driven testing thank you